Hello friends, in this video we are going to see one example of Kaplan script. So the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to open our Canvas tool. So I'll just expand this window and then what we are going to do is we are going to go into this simulation setup uh, and then the first thing what we'll do is we'll add our DBC that is can database by so I have to add it so why we are adding this DBC to our simulation setup is because when we will open our Capel browser at that time this DBC will be automatically accessible to our Capel browser so if you don't do this step then your can dbc won't be accessible to your capital browser which will make your capital scripting a little bit harder than it should be so the first thing what i did is uh, added my can database to the can network so i'll just open this capital browser So our capital browser is open. So I'll explain you what is there on the screen. So this first include block is can be used to include the link libraries or DLL. And the second block that is variables can be used to declare variables like messages, timers, millisecond timers, integers, floats. And we can add some other blocks also like our capital functions that is user defined functions and some events that is which are there here that is system event value object events and the scan events so there are main three types of events which i've explained in the previous video that is on timer io events and can communication events so the example what we are going to take is like when i press some key for example key a at that time some message should go to our can bus so for that we are going to require to write some code here in capital so for that there should be some variables declared so there should be a message which we have to send so this message which I'm going to take is from the DBC which is EMS5 and the first thing for message what we have to do is we have to create an alias of this message. So this EMS5 is from DBC and the alias is engine. So after uh, this declaration whenever I want to access EMS5 I will use this engine as an alias of EMS5 then after i'll be needing a timer so suppose i have to send one message after 10 seconds when i start the can so for that i'll be needing a timer so i will just name it as second 10 so uh, i'll be using this as a 10 second timer so this variable i'll be use i'll use in the script as 10 second timer then also i we can declare a int type of variable float type of variable and many more so what so i'll give you a link in the description to learn more about cans but in this video i'll be just briefing you about the capital so after that you must have seen this kind of pop-up that is timers sec 10 has no corresponding on timer so for this one we have to declare one more block that is on timer so what this block is going to do is whenever this timer expires at that time this block will execute so for timer each time of each type of timer whatever timing value has been set to it after the timing value has expired then that corresponding on timer will execute so as we have to set a timer for this timer sec 10 so we are going to set this timer block as sec 10 so whenever this timer expires this timer block will execute 
so since we are setting signal for this EMS pipe so after setting anything what we have to do is we have to decide on which can bus we have to send the signal is the direction of the message and the type of the message so for that we are going to include one more event handler that is on start so on start of can message what we have to decide is we have to decide this thing that is engine dot so as we have created alias of this message we have to use this engine so first thing uh, what I'll do is I'll save it I want to replace then it will be accessible so this engine we have to send it on can1 so I made it as can1 then after engine so then after the second thing what we have to do is we have to select the direction so direction will be one since we are sending it sending the signal and not receiving it so direction will be one so it is a TX message that means it will be one and then after RTR that is remote transmission request so it is not a remote transmission request so I'll be setting it as one and then after we have to give one more event that is on key A so on key A we have to set some values of this engine message so the values which we have to set is and the values which you have to set we will get it from the database so that database we can access through this simulation setup database which we have to just double click so it will open in can db plus plus editor so through which we can see what signals are there which we can modify so we just have to find ems5 which is here and here you will see the id of that message that is 286 the dlc is 8 and what type of tx method is used cycle time and transmitter is ems so here you will see that these signals which are included in this ems5 message so there are many signals but we'll be using this current gear ems and in this status in that cable script so we'll be just modifying this current gear ems and engine status so this this thing you can do is current gear ems equal to zero so i have to set current gear ems as zero so if there is some spelling error then at the time it will give you this kind of error so i know how to resolve it is i have to spell it correctly whatever is written in the dbc so i have spelled it correctly like ems correctly so after that that error is been gone and after that one more signal i have to set it on this key press so i'm i will be just setting the uh, signals and the value of the signal for this message ems5 but the alias is engine so that's why i'm setting it to engine so the second signal value which i have to set is this one engine status so it will be like this and then what we have to do is we have to start this timer so the timer starting we have to do using this set timer function so here you will see which timer i have to start and how long the duration should be so the timer which i have to start is this sec sec underscore 10 timer so which is here and the duration of this timer has to be 10 so as this timer is in seconds so i have to set it as 10 and then on timer expiration what we have to do is we have to send this message onto canvas so sending of the message can be done using output and the name of the message that is engine so once you declare the alias of this message you have to use the alias all the time so i'm using alias and then after this message will be sent after 10 seconds of this timer expiration so what will happen in the script is i'll just explain you so first thing what will happen is this variables will be 
de declared automatically once the can starts and then once the can starts can bus is decided as one the direction is of the message is decided at tx then remote transmission request is decided as zero as it is not a remote transmission request then the script will just be waiting it will be just idle until some event happens so for us the event is key press a so whenever someone presses the key press a on our keyboard the values of this engine message is set so the value of the signal is set to 5 the engine status is set to 10 and this timer will start and then after that after this timer starts for 10 seconds it will just be waiting till some event happens so just this timer has been started but there is no other event happening so after this timer has expired that means when the 10 second is completed at that time this message engine message and whatever values are set to it will be sent to the scan one bus and as the message direction is tx so it will be sent and there will be no response or no remote transmission request from the canvas as it is zero so these values which i were set to this engine message has been sent when the timer expires as we are outputting it to can one so that is a simple example of capital script so in the next example what we will do is we'll take an example in which we can set a periodic message